Good morning everyone. So I thought today I would oh so I thought today I would do a get ready with me um complete morning edition. It's not really my morning routine because that's kind of hard for me. My morning routine changes every day. But I thought I would show you guys what I do on a typical Monday morning when I want to when I'm getting ready to work and film and all of that stuff. So I'm gonna take you from the moment I wake up, which is right now, I literally woke up 10 minutes ago, to when I'm completely ready. So the first thing I always do is drink my water and have my coffee. So let's do that. For coffee today, I'm having butter pecan. I got this at Winners. It was inexpensive. It's just a cafe aromatise. That's what it's called. I like coffees that have flavor because it's less boring. Especially when I'm fasting and I can only drink um, coffee until around 11. Oh, by the way, I got a question. I got questions about if I like my ninja machine. I look like death right now. Um, I do. I like it a lot. After that, and while I drink my coffee, I clean up the house. So I am going to sweep today. Actually, I'm going to vacuum and mop the floor. Every Sunday night, I will make a checklist on my phone for Monday about what I have to do. So today I had to work out. I didn't work out today because I worked at the past three days and I wanted to give my body a little bit of a break. If I don't wake up wanting to work out, which I normally do, I typically don't um, until evening, which is when I want to work out. I have to call the vet for the boys. I have to order supplies. I have to film. I have to film, uh, potentially film another video if I get what I want in the mail. Edit and upload and then go to UPS. So, so far, I've done none of that, but uh, it will get all, it will get all done by the so, end. So, we have showered, we are all ready to start getting ready. Today, I'm going to be fake tanning, so I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do with my fake tan, my hair, and my makeup. All right, so for my fake tan, my absolute favorite fake tan at the moment is this. This is the Jergens Natural Glow Instant Sun. It is my favorite. My sister even said that it's the best fake tan she's ever seen me use. It's such a pretty color. So all I do is pump a few pumps on and go like that. And it makes you look so bronzy, but so natural. It's incredible. I love this stuff. It has like a really nice undertone where it's really believable. When you leave it on, it's really hydrating. I left it on overnight and the next day my skin looked like it was glowing. And when it develops, you don't even really have to wash it off if you have something to do because it's a really pretty color. So I do that twice a week. I like tanning twice a week to keep up the color. Okay, so for my hair, I really should be washing it because this is th third or fourth day hair, but I just could not be bothered. So I'm taking it out of the bun. I'm gonna show you guys how I curl it. I'm not gonna show the whole thing because that would take, take pretty long. This is from Duval. And I just go about brushing it out. So when my hair is kind of greasy, it's not too greasy, it's just kind of greasy, I take a dry shampoo. I'm trying this one today. This is the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo with Dark Tones. So I have a pretty dark root, so I'm excited to see if this works. I don't know if it looks dark. I think it still kind of looks kind of light. How do you guys feel about dry shampoo with like color in it? Next on my hair, I'm going to be spraying this protect and prevent spray just on the bottom is because my hair has been, I've never used this before, but 
I just sprayed it right in my eye. So I do my hair in two sections. The bottom section first. I take pieces that are about this big. This is the curling iron I'm using, just the T3. I think this is a one inch barrel. Not for too long because it gets pretty hot. Scrunch it and then I kind of just, I hold it out as it dries so it's not too, too curly. That was a little bit of a small piece. I tend to take different sized chunks. I find that that gives you a very natural curled look. And every so often I do switch up the way the curl goes, but most of the time I do it away from my head. I just like how those curls look. So that's kind of what I do. It's nothing revolutionary, super simple. So I'm going to finish up the rest of my head because I literally do this all over my head and then i'll meet you back here for my makeup started on my face right now i have the summer fridays jet like mask love it now i'm putting on the debronzy anti-pollution sunshine serum i lied now i'm putting on the umbra sheer physical daily defense the sunscreen i use every day i've been trying to use it every day unless i'm going out at like night obviously unless i know i'm taking a lot of pictures i'll skip out on this but it's also really moisturizing so i do like that now i'm taking the umbra anti-pollution i take about one and a half pumps of this just because watch how magical this stuff is it is literally magic in a tube i put this on for the gym and it's like a magic spell if you don't need a lot of coverage or you're going to the gym and you your face is paler than your body because you fake tan and you don't tan your face this is perfect so this is honestly what i do to go to the gym but we're not going to the gym, so let me show you guys my hair. I hate what my hair looks like when I'm doing my makeup. Alrighty, for my foundation, I'm mixing the Clinique Beyond Perfecting, which is my Holy Grail foundation, with the Face and Body from MAC. This is in C4. This is in number 8, Golden Neutral. <laughs> On my lips, I'm putting the Fresh Sugar Coconut Hydrating thingy. It smells so good. I don't like the look of, like, dry, crusty lips. I mean, who does? And I'm going in with my Artiste Oval 8 brush to blend that in. The face and body makes it a lot more lightweight. Yesterday I mixed it with the NARS foundation and it was really nice too. Alright, so recently I've been doing something a little bit different. I've been contouring before I conceal. So I'm going in with the Quickie Contour Stick from Benefit. And I've been really enjoying this contour stick that's not right <laughs> and i blend that in with my beauty blender slash real technique sponge because these are just as good <gasps> i was burning my mitt with my curling iron it looks a little bit cleaner when i go in with my concealer after rather than going in with this after i find the lines can look kind of muddy or not as perfect as I like. I think today I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. This is in the color 2W. I have a love-hate relationship with this item. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I hate it. I think I like it more when I go in and blend it right away. So I'm going to go in and just blend this out before I do the rest of my face. Because then it doesn't have time to really dry and it sets where you blend it. Here you go, that looks pretty. The other eye, I bring it up to the sides of my nose too. Then I'm gonna go in with the concealer and just kinda highlight with it and add my extra coverage. Next, I'm gonna go in with my favorite powder. This is the Hourglass Veil Powder. It's the only powder I've been using and I don't really bake. I kinda just press it into my skin with my beauty blender. And it gives you like the most flawless looking skin of life. I don't know what they put in this powder. Especially with this heat wave that's going on, you want to make sure you're nice and set. Setting it with your beauty blender also keeps it from being cakey. Next I do brows. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer in dark brown. And this I have to do close up, so I apologize that I literally just fill in the areas that need to be filled in because I do have my eyebrows microbladed. I went downstairs and I looked in like 
complete natural lighting and this foundation is so pretty i'll show you in natural lighting like i always do i wish i had a window like right in front of me this way with this as my background because if i turn it natural lighting coming in this way that background is not so pretty i wanted to know who is your favorite youtubers to watch i have a few favorites my favorite is obviously, well, I love watching my sister. Recently, I've been obsessed with Sophie Showit. Show it. She does like luxury videos, but her vlogs are really good. I love Alex and Michael. Their vlogs are my favorite. I love when they post. Jamie from Jamie Page Beauty um, and Alana Davidson. I think those people have been like my go-to favorites at the moment. But I want to know who are your favorite people to watch. When I'm working, I'm typically watching shows which is another thing I wanted to ask you. What TV shows should I watch? Because I think Suits is coming back any day now. I think it was supposed to come back in July. I'm interested to see in how that is without Megan or the other guy. I don't even remember what his name was. And my mom's home. It's like a freaking zoo in here today. So sorry if you hear my dogs or my parents. I don't live alone. I'm taking the Soft Glam palette. I normally take this and I'm taking Burnt Orange and I'm just fluffing this into the crease I wanted to give you guys an update on the cool sculpting so the next the few days after I definitely was swollen I think it's finally kind of starting to go down but it didn't help that I was also getting my period so I was bloated from that so I don't know if I was actually that swollen from the procedure or if I was bloated. I think it was a combination of both, but I was looking pregnant for like a few days. It was not a fun thing. Honestly, I didn't, it didn't bother me too much because like whatever, I knew that in the long run it was gonna be worth it. I'm not in pain anymore. Like it doesn't feel like that bruised kind of feeling. I was never bruised, but it felt like I had a bruise. I'm going in with this shade right here, which is Rustic, and I'm just blending that deep into the crease to give me some dimension. I love this palette. Once I put lashes on, I can't even see it. So I learned to stop really obsessing over it. I used to spend so much time on my eyeshadow. And now I'm like, you can't even see it when you put your uh, lashes. I'm taking the first color, Burnt Orange, and just sweeping it all underneath my eye. I always have to have something under my eye. Going in with the color Bronze, mixed with a little Burnt Orange to make it a little bit more coppery. And I'm just applying that on my lid. I'm also going to go in with, you guessed it, the Bobbi Brown Rich Metals Eyeshadow in Heat Ray. And then I'm going in with a little bit of the Rustic color, which was the dark brown we put in our crease. And I'm putting that on the outer edge of the bottom just to darken it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more sultry. And again, going with a little bit of orange soda mixed with burnt orange. I look like a raccoon right now, but we will, uh, we'll fix that. When you don't have lashes on, any eyeshadow look looks kind of insane. And I'm just blending that crease together. Recently, I've been really enjoying doing a really thin line on my upper um, lash line. So I just take a felt liner and I do a really thin line. Right. So I get a lot of questions about my lashes. So I thought I would show you guys how to go from this to this. And I'm not sure if you can really tell how much of a difference is it, this is. But there's a few things that I do. So the first thing I do is I curl my lashes. I already did that. Then I go in with the Essence Get Big Lashes Triple Black. And I start by just kind of going in the outer corner like this. This is a really good mascara. You can use this on its own. But I like to layer my mascara and do different coats. So that's kind of how I get the biggest lashes. Then while that's drying, I go in with a brown black mascara and I put that on my bottom lashes. It's just less harsh but still gives you that like dramatic look. Then I go in with my Better Than Sex mascara. This you can use either the Lash Paradise or whatever. I just have this so this is what I use. And I do the same thing. I go on top. And I really focus on the outer corner. I let that dry for a few seconds. Then I go back in with the Essence Mascara and I just do a final coat. Okay, so to finish up my face, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And I know I already said it, but this is really going to brighten up my face and all of that. So I take some on my Beauty Blender and I pounce that under my eyes. 
I really like doing this because it brightens it up, gives it an extra layer of coverage, and I kind of bounce that in my T-zone. This is going to keep me matte throughout the day. For my bronzer, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I am very happy I hit pan on this product. And I'm going in just with a angled brush. I'm picking quite a bit of that up, and I'm just going to blend that into the hollows of my cheek to contour and on my forehead. Then I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm going in with the Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer from Hourglass, dusting it in and kind of going just on top of my cheeks. This is going to give me that really lit from within, like actual tan, as if I had been baking in the sun. I'm kind of messy with my bronzer if you couldn't tell. I feel like you can't see the true color and it's pissing me off. All right, so as promised, I was going to show you guys what my makeup looks like um, with natural lighting. I have to figure out a better setup with this makeup where it's like more natural lighting because I can't do a complete artificial lighting. Like you cannot see like where you're contouring or anything like that. I need my natural lighting. But anyways, this is what the makeup looks like finished. Completely natural lighting. All right guys, so that is my hair, my makeup, my makeup, my makeup, my outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Turn on the bell notifications and all that. As usual, everything will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. And I'll see you back here on Wednesday. I feel like I just completed a race.